morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Chibits. Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly Chibi vlog. It seems like these weekly vlogs might start being on a Tuesday, since there's not really going to be that much coming out on this day. Because as you all know, with a new anime season, that means a new schedule of anime, and I have to readjust my entire schedule to what you know each day is going to be about, like what reviews individually. And so I'm going to have to probably move this vlog for now on, probably around a Tuesday. So just keeping you all up to date on that, I usually keep you all up to date when a new season starts, and I felt like you all needed to know that. Now, first things first, I gotta say, I have a lot of packages that have arrived in this past week. It's so many, in fact, that I'm gonna have to make a separate video later this week. Like, I'm gonna have to probably make a video tomorrow or a video on Thursday for more packages I need to open up because there is a lot. I'm gonna open up quite a few here, but I mean, this is like probably just half of it for whatever, you know, I'm not gonna be opening up. So, I just want to do a quick disclaimer for that. For some Shibits, I probably sent some things, and if you don't see it in this video, it'll be up later, you know, this week. I'll have to do an extra special opening video just to handle all the packages and read the letters that you've all sent me. So, before I even begin opening up anything, I want to ask, how's everybody doing? Are you feeling okay? I mean, how's school been? Since many of you are probably going back to school, going back to work, how's it been getting back after your break of, you know, from Christmas? Are you all having a fun time? And I mean, also since a new anime season has started, I want to ask all of you Chibits, what currently is your favorite series to watch weekly? Personally, I know many of you already know, but I'm going to let you know if you're unaware. My favorite series so far to watch weekly is probably Boku Dake, and underneath that is Showa, or Rakugo. That's a better way to summarize it. Those are my top two right there. And I know a lot have been asking for many days now since like it aired, where is the Divine Gate review? I think I should clarify this since so many of you have asked in a lot, like a lot, in these past like 48 hours. I have yet to watch the episode. I'm going to be honest, I have yet to watch the first episode. I need to check it out and see what the hubbub is about. For so many of you to be recommending it to me, it must be something pretty damn good. So, I don't know when I'm going to watch it, but I'm going to definitely give it a shot because, you know, I'll listen to all of you what you want me to see, and I'll, I'll see if it's good, if I like it. Well, yeah, I'll make more videos on it. But for now, though, I have yet to watch it, which I will eventually watch. So now that I got that out of the way, I just want to say thank you all once again for allowing our community to reach 100k achievements. I know we're past that, I've said my thanks, but I still want to thank you once again because it's just such an honor for all of you to support this community and make it to what it is. I truly am grateful for that, and I still have many plans for more special videos for the 100k, and just I'm still trying to come up with many ideas, and also Achievement said they were sending me like Reaper sauce, which I'm gonna have to try for another special video along with other things. But I just wanna let you all know, I'm working on those videos, it just takes time because I wanna do something extra special or many special things to celebrate the occasion. So let's get into some of this fan mail that I have here. I got quite a bit of packages, and like I said, I'm gonna have to save half of it for another video. So let's open up this first one. I'm just gonna grab it random, let's start with this. Okay, so this one is from Japan, and it says it is from Blintin. Uh, Blintin? Blint uh, okay, so I'm guessing that's a username in the comments below. Is that what I think it is? No. No, no. My god, it is. Do you... Do you, do you Chibits know what this is? I, I'm very curious. You might not be able to read it because it might be too small. The camera might be a little bit blurry. This is the poker cards I was talking about in my Tokyo Ghoul video. Remember when I was talking about certain cards, you know, Kaneki with the greenish look and stuff, all sorts of different things? That That's these cards. Shueisha Weekly Young Jump. Premium Tokyo Ghoul Trump Cards. Illustrated by Sui Ishida. Wow. It's even got the checker pad. I don't even know what to think right now. I, I, I don't even know what to think right now. These, these things are fucking expensive. Okay. So, I, I'm definitely going to be making a separate video, probably today, 
showcasing all these cards off. I'll probably do that. So you can look forward to that, Chibichu Tokyo Ghoul fans. I'm going to probably make a separate video. It's not going to have me reviewing them or anything, but I'm going to probably just do like the unboxing and then show you each individual card because... I talked about this a long time ago, I would do something like this if I got the cards and also the calendar. Which, speaking of the calendar, I ordered the calendar from Amazon, but for some reason the fucking package was lost in shipping. And so now I don't, I don't even have the fucking calendar. So, I bought the fucking calendar, but now it's gone. <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to get my refund back with the Amazon right now, but it really sucks because I also want to do a calendar video. But, I guess this is a good thing. I mean, at the very least, I can do a Tokyo Ghoul card showcasing, showing each individual card, because these cards have a lot of symbolism in it. So, definitely a lot of discussion value to be had. You don't know how bad I wanted these. Like, I really wanted these to be able to see these cards. I'm not going to actually use them to play cards with, like, poker or anything. I want them as a collector's item. And to see how... Damn. These were illustrated by Ishida himself. These cards. So, I can't, I can't wait to see it. I haven't actually seen any of the cards, but, but a select a few I've seen on, you know, Twitter achievements have sent me. So, I have not seen all of these. So, I can't wait to see the surprises when I actually open this up. So, I'm going to set this to the side here, actually, because I want to make a video on that later today. Oh, my. This has one of the best endings that can happen for a series. Like, Samurai Jack, it takes many inspirations from anime to make something truly special. It is very beloved by fans, so don't be too surprised if you get a lot of requests to review this marvelous show. Avatar The Last Airbender, the complete series. I've seen a lot of Avatar, but I've never seen the, ent the entirety of it. I've seen a lot of book one, a lot of book two, I've seen the, a lot of, like, probably half of book three, but I never really saw the ending. Avatar The Last Airbender, the complete series. It's been a while since I've watched this, actually. Damn. The complete fucking series of Avatar. That's ridiculous. Okay, there's a letter here. Let me, let me open up this letter. Let, let's see what it says. Dear Chibi, B-O-L- Oh, B-O-L, how you doing, bro? If you have been wondering since the last letter, I'm doing a lot better now. I'm glad to hear that, bro. Since you did not read the PS part of my last letter, let's get to the portion out of the way here. Your Wii Mini should have come with a red uh, Wii remote that has a built-in motion plus in it. It should say so on the bottom of the remote where the four blue lights are under the rubber wrapping if the remote is covered in one. Say, did you try that Vietnamese coffee I sent you? Yes, I did. It was actually very nice. It's meant to be mixed with other things to make various coffee drinks. By the way, the red Chinese outfit was sent by me, and I would like for you to wear it on Chinese New Year's when it comes around. The date for that is February 8, 2016, so mark that on your calendar. I will definitely keep that in mind. Speaking of which, according to the Chinese Zodiac, your animal is the boar, and your element is wood. So can I do, like, wood bending and shit? Like, dude, that, that's badass. Let's see, uh, if you want more details on what either of those things mean for you, let me know. Please actually let me know in the comments, man. I'll explain it in detail in another letter. Oh, that's also a good way. You can actually explain it in a letter. I plan to send you for chat. Wait, I'll explain it in the uh, detail in another letter I plan to send you on Chinese New Year. Now, Chibi, I saw how you felt the impact of my last letter, and believe it or not, I have more to say here. Tissue's ready this time. 2014 may have been one of my most hated years ever, but it is just a single year. I walk through life with a chip in my shoulder and see the world through very jaded eyes, both of which I gain from my experiences in life. I have always had responsibilities I never wa wanted thrusted onto me without anyone ever considering whether or not I could handle it or not. I grew up in a rough environment where I was surrounded by people that I quickly learned that I could never trust or depend on for anything. There have been times when I was betrayed, had personal items stolen from me, for, or have been beaten for punishment, and above all, I had any trust of place in someone completely stepped on and ruined. Furthermore, I have taken for circumstances that were never my fault to begin with, but I was just convenient scrapgoat for those particular moments. In person, I can and do come off as a nice guy, probably more than others, but in actuality, I really hate people. This, however, is not a surprise when you consider the fact I do not have much, if any, trust for most of the members of my family. How can one want to interact with others when he can even have the desire to be near those? He cannot even have the desire to be near those that he's known nearly all his life. Losing my grandmother last year was not just me suffering from a family death, but also me also me coming to terms with the fact that one of the few people in my life that I truly love and care for is no longer with me. 
So as you can see, I've always had a, a difficult and thankless life without any truly willing to help me, even for a single moment. I at times wonder if there are really good people in the world and sometimes ponder why such a complicated and difficult life was mine to live. There have been countless times where I would look at myself in the mirror and, and generally hate the person I am and for being too weak to make a change. Often, I would think to myself that no one would truly blame me if I decided to give up or go down a dark path, given how much of a corner I've been pushed into. I had given too much for most of my life, and I don't owe it to anyone to keep going on a straight path. Others may tell me enough, you gave it your all, but now then I would tell myself not all, not all that I have, not yet. So I would keep moving onwards. 2014 crammed everything negative in my life into it, but they have always been with me since the beginning, and never will change that. However, something extra or extraordinary happened this year of 2015. It started off small, but slowly grew over the course of the year. I have started to want to struggle onward. I have started to get enjoyment of what I do now. Now I've started to like meeting new people. It's good to hear, bro. I started to want to go for a challenge. I have started to work for a new dream. I've started to hope again. I'm exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure for where this new spark came from and why. But I know it was ignited this year. I also know that you and everyone that became my friends this year is not only the reason why this feeling is still going, but is also getting stronger by the day. It makes sense why your element is wood, and, your cho and you choose Chibi to be your YouTube name. You started off small. A small idea was planted and was then allowed to grow through it. It was nearly ended quickly because of how fragile it was in the beginning. However, it did not die, but instead grew bigger and bigger while drawing others in to transform into something different, but better. That's a very symbolic way to look at it, damn. A tall tree begins life as a tiny seed, but as the tree grows more, while well, more want to help it to flourish and spread, that is what this community is becoming, and it continues to amaze me. There is no such thing as something big. There is only many, many little things coming together and joining together in order to transform into another thing. It is the power in this community and that you started, Chibi, that has helped restore a little of my own faith in people. The positive response I saw from both you and the comments cemented the fact for me that people can care about others and that they do want to reach out and help someone, even if they may never see or know whoever they helped is. It is because of this that I believe that we all can start to climb higher to do something we never imagined when we were able to before. Therefore, I want nothing more than to wish you the best, Chibi, and if I ever see you in person, I'll call you out since I never forget a face and say just this. Thanks. From BOL. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year, Chibi. You as well. Your friend, BOL. P.S. I didn't mean for this letter and the last one to be so full of feels, but I just had to get it out there so I might have gone mad from holding it in. You provide people with an ear to listen to, and sometimes that is all a person needs to keep going. The next letter I send will be back to us talking about anime and happier topics, so stay well. Until then. Bro. I'll tell you what. Our community is fucking amazing. It's it really is fucking amazing. I, I remember seeing the comments after I read your last letter, and I, I remember reading the comments. I, I saw a lot of them all supporting you and all that. That was an emotional scene. It really goes to show you how great our community is, and I, I truly appreciate all of you, Chibis, for that helping BOL out. And that's what these vlogs are for. These vlogs are for us to connect, grow together, and allow us to understand each other a whole lot. That's exactly what these videos were meant for. And I'm glad it is doing its job to help you all. And you've all helped me. I've told you all many times. You've helped me. And I'm glad I can at the very least help some of you. Thank you, BLL. I look forward to your next letter, bro. Thank you. I want to move on to the next package. Is these fucking peppers? What? 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 This might be one of the weirdest packages I've ever received. What? Even weirder than the dick gummies. Fresh thigh chili peppers. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't even... Okay, I... How hot are they? Like, I, I don't even know how hot they are. If anyone can, you know, let me know in the comments, please let me know. But singly, one of the weirdest packages I think I've ever received. It's more Kingdom volumes. I guess I'll say I'm almost caught up. Okay, I'm gonna give you that information. I'm not gonna say how caught up I am, but I am almost caught up. So 
stay tuned to Kingdom maybe in the near future. Just to let you all know. Is there any letter at all in this? No, no letter. Nope, there is no letter. So, I'm, like I've always said, I'm assuming this is the exact same Chiba that has been sending Kingdom and wanting me to review it. Don't worry. I am, I am, I am. It just takes time to read. And I am almost caught up. So I say it every time. We need Viz to translate this shit. Viz, get the fuck on this. Get the fuck on this series. Like, seriously. Get get the fuck on this. Like, right now. Like, seriously. Someone, spam Viz and tell them, translate Kingdom. Red Line. This is a fantastic movie. This is a really fantastic movie. I, I've actually done a review on this series, if you're unaware of that, Cheapest. I have done a movie review on Red Line. A gift for you. I really enjoy your videos. They make me smile and laugh. By the way, I also sent you a special figure, which will come either either ship with this package or come soon after. So look forward to that. Enjoy your gift from Dylan. Thank you very much, Dylan. Red Line is such a good movie. I love this movie. It's very underrated. It needs to be watched by many. The art... Oh my god, it's orgasmic. The art is insane. Okay, so this is from Mugen Toys. I'm going to assume that this is the figure you were just talking about, Dylan. So, that's probably why I'm going to open this one up next. Because it's a figure on it. I don't see any other ones that might be a possibility of a figure besides that box over there. But this one seems to scream figure just because of the name of what sent it. Oh my god! Oh my god! I have wanted a kill a kill figure for so damn long. They even have the fucking pants, the striped pants. What the fuck? I feel like a pervert, but still. Like, oh my god, this series is a wonderful series. Fucking dude. Oh my god. Now, now I just need that figure. Oh my god, I need to get that figure just to go along with this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, there, there's a letter in here, I think. Let me see. Uh, there is no letter, sadly. But anyways, th this figure, let me set this box here. This figure, epic as shit, dude. That's oh, fucking epic, man. Going up there next to Gintoki, definitely. Gonna sit, gonna definitely sit this figure right next to Gintoki up there because, yeah, it needs to be shown to the public. Gintoki needs some more love up there. So, yeah. This is badass, man. Okay, I might do a, uh, I might do a figure unboxing, actually. That would be a good idea. I mean, it would be a little bit different than I normally do. I could do a figure unboxing to this. There might be plans. I might do that along with, you know, the Tokyo Ghoul cards today. That's a video idea. I might try that. Vene? I, I think that's how you say it. Vene. I, if I said it wrong, I'm sorry. Please correct me in the comments below. But, thank you very much. Um, this feels like a manga actually Feel, yeah it feels like a manga kiss him not me all you want i have never heard of this series it looks like a rom-com from what i can assume a reverse harem rom-com judging by you know the cast of metal characters around her dear chibi slash jacob congratulations on the 100k you totally deserve it and keep doing what you've been doing how has your day been my day's been rather good. I mean, last night I had some issues. Uh, the water pops froze over, and I had to fix it and shit. And so, I guess it wasn't the best, but I mean, it's fine now. But day so far has been very good. Sorry I have to keep this letter short, but lately I don't have much time. I'm glad that you are enjoying Haikyuu, and just wait for the matches that are about to come. In Tokyo Ghoul Re, what do you think is going to happen next in the couple of chapters? A lot of sadness. A lot of tragedy. That's a Sheeta for you. What do you think of the new QS children? And do you think they will be doomed in a tragic? It's a Sheeta. Yes, it's Tokyo Ghoul. They're doomed to die. They're doomed to be tragic. They're doomed to cry and be sad. It's Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, let's see. Lastly, in your last vlog, you were wondering about the Japanese manga from that Jump Fest baggie. The series is called Hitalia, and I recommend you check it out. P.S. Here I've touched one of my favorite romantic comics, so it is a rom-com. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Hmm. Romantic rom-com, probably reverse ham. I like the art. The art. Oh, I, I like that art style on the cover. The cover looks really nice. 
by Junko. Junko. Hmm. Last name, so I'm guessing that's a pen name. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to try to give this a shot when I get the time and see how I feel about it. Now I'll make a video on it, first impressions, when I finish it. Like I said, I'm going to probably own every freaking Kingdom volume before before I even finish this series. Before I completely catch up, I'm going to probably own every single Japanese version of the Kingdom manga. Not a bad thing, though. Whoa. At that's badass. Fucking Gundam figure. What what Gundam is this? The older Gundams? That looks like it's from like the older Gundams. Judging by like the shield design, because I remember seeing like a uh, you know older versions of Gundam and they had like a suit that looks similar to this. If anyone can confirm what Gundam this is from here, I'll I'll zoom it out. Zoom it in. Side. Here's the back. If anyone can confirm what Gundam series this Gundam is from, please let me know. I like the artwork on it though. It's very. Everything's movable though. It's like an actual action figure. Too chibi. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay, so by the way, the letter and manga are from my sister, who is a huge fan of your channel. I supplied the Gundam. Lone Soul 06. Thank you very much, Lone Soul. Fruits Basket. This is a rarity to get. Fruits Basket is expensive. I wanted to own the series for a long time before I can review it. Okay, so let's read it from here. Wait, the letter and manga are from my sister, who is a huge fan of your channel. I just supplied the gun. Okay, so you just supplied the Gundam, and your sister supplied the letter and the manga. Okay, considered one of the best shoujo manga series ever created. It is an original. It's an older series, 23 volumes total. You've probably already heard about it, but to me, it's one of the best shoujo series I have ever read. Unfortunately, this is the only volume I can send you. You probably already have tons of other manga to read, but please consider checking this series out whenever you have the time. The story itself has a dark theme behind it, as one girl slowly takes the time to get to know each character and build relationships through love and acceptance. It's a story with a lot of feels in it. The Gundam is from the Gundam series Gundam C- Okay, so you confirmed my answer to that. So you actually answered my question. To tell you the truth, it's not the best Gundam series ever made. It has a decent plot and characters, but there are better series as you can get more involved with Gundam. You should know that there are good and bad series. It just so happens that Iron Blood Orphan breaks a lot of reoccurring themes in Gundam. P.S. If you never get to make a third season for, if they never get to make a third season for Noragami, I highly doubt that, and ever decide to read the manga, you'll ha you'll learn to hate Yate's father a lot. And it also looks like the new D. Greyman anime is going to be a continuation where it left off. Well, that's all I have left to say. Sorry for the boring letter. It's not boring. I I tell you, Chief, it's all the time. I am fine with letters. I am completely fine with letters. I have no issue reading your letters. It's very fun and entertaining to get to see your thoughts and get to, you know, get connected more with all of you. I want to thank you, actually, for this volume. I've actually wanted Fruits Basket for a long time now. It just is always expensive to buy because when I looked on Amazon, they were out of print and I, I just couldn't get a good copy because they were always out of print or they were like maybe 30 fucking dollars to 40 dollars for a volume i'm like no, i'm not gonna do that so i'm glad to see how i can actually read fruits basket now because i've never actually started the series never watched the anime never read the manga and i've always been interested in it just never got around to it and so maybe very soon i could you know read this Thank you very much. Thank you, both of you. Thank you very much for the letter. And thank your brother for the Gundam. It means a lot. Okay, so this is from Milos. Oh, seems like I finally got a name on the Chibit that's been sending me Kingdom Volumes. Milos. Interesting. Thank you very much. Now I can know which Chibit's sending it to me. Yo! No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I'll, I'll show you this as well. Let me read this letter. Yo, Chibi, this is Cat in Mexico 21. I've actually seen you in the comments. These little things are a thank you gift for making me laugh in your Tokyo Ghoul reaction videos. After reading those chapters with tears in my eyes, I watch your reaction videos and have a great laugh. Your reactions are priceless. They cheer me up. Thanks again, Chibi. Hope this gets to you before Christmas. Sadly, it, it actually did not get here before Christmas, but the thought still counts, and I just want to say the meaning is still there. Thank you very much. Let's show these off. This right here is fucking awesome. 
Dude, Kaneki and Toki. I need more Toki gold figures. All I have is Centipede Sean up there, and I have Kaneki in the chair right behind me. That, that's the only Toki gold figures I have. Now I have these. Oh. I need a Sukiyama shoe figure. I need to go find a Sukiyama shoe figure. Like, why the fuck do I not have a Harmony? Like, wh why don't I have that? Like, why the fuck do I not have a figure of Sukiyama shoe? You think I would? He's like my favorite character. I mean, I need one of Eto as well. That'd be badass. I mean, Arima. Damn it. I, I, let, let's just get all the characters. But, um, this right here, man. Oh my god. I might do a. You know what? I might add that to the figure unboxing with, you know, uh, you know, the kill kill figure. I, I might do that. I, I definitely might do that. It would be a separate video for you can get a better look at the figure. It might be a new thing I can start doing when Chibit send me figures. I can do an unboxing thing of it and then show it off, and you get to see the figure for yourself if you want to buy it. Okay, so it looks like we have a pretty decent sized letter. This is good. Okay. Chibi, I am writing to you today for a few reasons, but the first is a recommendation. I would likely never feel the need to make a recommendation again, but this series I believe is worth the letter. This series in question is called Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. If you have seen this series, feel free to skip to the next paragraph where I have a couple of fairly short questions. Okay, so I've never seen Ghost in the Shell. So Achievement sent it to me very recently, I just yet to get around to actually watch it. But I know about Ghost in the Shell, just never watched it. So, the standalone complex, where do I start? Okay, let's start with some background. This series is based in the, in the same world as the movie Ghost in the Shell, and uses the same characters. However, it has no relation plot-wise to the movie or the original manga. If you've never seen the original movie, I recommend it before starting this series, as it is a good introduction to the world, even though I, somewhat, I, I am somewhat neutral on the original movie. Although I did feel it had some interesting ideas, the movie is available for free on Hulu dubbed only. No problem with the dub. The series itself consists of 2 to 26 episodes, 2 seasons and 26 episode seasons, plus a made for a TV sequel movie titled Solid State Society by Production IG. As for why I feel the need to recommend the series, simply put, it is one of those series that does things well across the board. The episodes are either self-contained or part of the season, long story short, uh, are a part of a season, Long Story Fred, and both are well executed. Although I won't give anything away, one note I have to make is the series that start while quite good is not the same lightning fast start as Code Geass, Death Note, or Attack on Titan. Instead, starting with self-contained episodes that establish all the characters or at least the ones that will get screen time. Therefore, I would recommend waiting for the first part of the season for Ed to occur, as opposed to the three-episode rule. It is quite mature series like Cowboy Bebop come to mind as a comparison. The main group of characters are highly competent, a nice change from some dumb-as-shit shonen protagonist. Not all, but some. Any supporting character with screen time is going to be great, although that's only about half of them. As for the main characters, uh, Motoko uh, Kusanagi, aka the Major, the, is awesome. She's an excellent field commander, a complete badass, takes shit from no one, and could possibly beat Yukino of Snafu. Damn! Let's see, both seasons are split 50-50 between the two. Okay, so in a contest of who can cut through bullshit quicker, she's easily my favorite female character in anime and manga, and one of my favorite protagonists of all time, up there with Guts of Berserk, Edward Elric of Fullmetal Alchemist, and the duo of Shinichi and Migi of Parasite. Animation-wise, it's not ult unlimited Blade Works, but for a series over 10 years old, I thought it looked pretty damn good, and I personally feel it could compete with quite a few current series. The soundtrack, it was done by Yoko Kano. For those unaware, she did the OST for a Cowboy Bebop, Zenkyo no Terror, and Darker Than- Oh, first season. One last note, I feel that the first and only season of Psychopaths took a fair amount of inspiration aesthetic-wise, and if ever review the series, I'd like your thoughts on that. On the subject of availability, both seasons plus Solid State Society are free on Hulu, dub only. Don't worry about the dub, though. I personally feel it is on the same level as Cowboy Bebop and Black Lagoon. Second, I want to inform you that the first Garo anime is getting a sequel movie called Garo Divine Flame, set for Spring 2016. On another note, with Full Metal Panic getting a new season, I was wondering if you've seen the previous seasons. Never seen Full Metal Panic at all. If you've never heard of it, there are mechs, high school, secret military organizations, and a romance that goes nowhere. The anime has three seasons, Full Metal Panic, Full Metal Panic, uh, Fumof for a comedic spin-off, season in Full Metal pa uh, Panic, 
the second raid. All these seasons are available on Hulu dub and sub, although I would go with the dub release. Please note, I normally choose sub. It's not the best series ever, but it's a great Lazy Sunday series, and I definitely recommend it. All three seasons. Lastly, I I must ask if you hope for a second season of The Devil is a Part-Timer. I know the odds are low, like Haruhi Season 3 low. I feel a little weird bringing that up as though there was a bit hit or miss for me. Although Disappearance was amazing, but I thoroughly enjoyed the first season and would love a second one. Um... I really do hope Devil is a part-timer gets a season two. I, I love the season one. It was very different. It was very, very funny. I, I remember the first episode, I was laughing my fucking ass off on it. It needs a season two. But sadly, I highly doubt it's ever going to receive one because of, you know, sales. That's how Japan runs. That'll do it for me. Here's to a happy and healthy 2016. Sincerely, Jay. P.S. I do not apologize for the handwriting. I do apologize for the tangents. <laughs> P.P.S. Uh, Berserk Rules. PPPS. If you ever receive a letter from someone named Jay before, I am not them. Okay, thank you very much, Jay. That was a very sweet letter. A recommendation of Ghost in the Shell. Hmm. I need to check it out. I, I've been recommended in the past, but right now I've been checking out a lot of Gundam. That's what I've been doing as well on the side because many have recommended that. But Ghost in the Shell might be a project for this year. Who knows? It might definitely be a project for this year. So let's move on to the final package of the day. This big, big package here by No Name. Dear Chibi, enclosed is the Reaper sauce I told you of as well as a DVD. Don't ask for volumes past one because all there is is volume one in the box set. I also included more comics and something to hold the sauce safe. Your friend, Huckness. Fucking, you sent me the hot sauce. Oh god, I'm dead as fuck. That's cute as fuck. That's cute as fuck. That's cute as fuck. That's cute as fuck. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute as fuck. Soft. So fucking soft. It's, it's cute though. Very cute. So you sent the pepper sauce. Let me let me get a look at this. I I, I gotta see what I'm dealing with here. I gotta see what I'm dealing with here. <sighs> I'm not prepared for this. Oh my god. Oh my god, that does not look nice at all. <laughs> oh shit. Time's up. Reaper hot sauce. It has death on it. Manufactured by Pepper Palace. Ingredients, distilled vinegar, water, tomato paste, garlic powder, reaper, pepper powder, oh god. Lemon juice, lemon juice concentrate, water, sodium, let's see, a um, bunch of sodium, let's see, uh, onion powder, salt, sugar, oh my god, this shit's gonna kill my ass, okay. So, this is a Carolina Reaper hot sauce. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> and... Oh, you, you give me a happy little spoon. A, a happy little spoon. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I just happy little spoon. <sighs> I promised. I'll have to do it. Maybe not today. I gotta mentally prepare my body for this shit. I'll I'll, I'll do it tomorrow, but not now. I, I gotta mentally prepare. Okay. Just give me some time to mentally prepare. Uh, okay. So you said you sent a bunch of other comics and stuff. So let me pull these out. Okay. So. Star Wars Annual. Let the dark side flow through you. You know, I actually haven't seen the new Star Wars movie. I'm not joking. I haven't. So, I need to see that very soon. Really do. Um, Star Wars Shattered Empire. Ooh, I like the cover of that. The cover looks really nice. Uh, What If Infinity? Guardians of the Galaxy. I guess issue number one. Ooh, cool issue cover. I like that issue cover. It looks really nice. Oh, look at that smug face, though. Smug face. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Avengers Age of Ultron. Oh, wait. Wait, oh, no. Wrong one. Okay. Radioactive Spider Gwen. What? S Spider Gwen? What? Spider Gwen? What? 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 Okay. I'm confused. I'm very confused to this. Very confused. Who's Spider Gwen? I'll need to check that out. Uh, James Bond. 
double oh seven ooh look at that james bond the name's bond james bond I, okay i know that reference is horrible just don't kill me don't slip my throat but james bond didn't know they made comics of james bond star wars darth vader annual issue number one hmm. darth vader gets his own comic kicking people's asses that's what he's doing Hmm. I need to read some of these comics. I've never read comics before. I haven't. I, I definitely need to read some of these comics. And then this is Shattered Angels. Oh, you sent me the, the book of this or whatever. So this is a... Uh, oh, it's an actual series. A movie series or something. An Eternal Tale of Passion, Tragedy, and Destruction. Is this a hentai? Is this a hentai? I think this is a hentai. Yeah, it's a hentai. It has to be. It has to be. Anyways, that is about it for the vlog. I gotta get all these boxes and uh, out of the way to clean up my room. But I'm gonna try to make a video of this in just a minute along with the uh, figures. I'll, I'll try to do that. You know what? Before I do the figure video, I will see what you all feel about it before I do that. But I'm definitely gonna do this, you know, these Tokyo Ghoul cards. So you all have a wonderful day or a night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.